The once hard-charging autonomous vehicle company Cruise is facing an existential crisis, and is now scrambling to appease investors, regulators and the public. Just weeks after the California DMV revoked its license to operate, according to audio of a Monday all-hands meeting obtained by Forbes. During the hour-long meeting, executives outlined damage control operations ranging from internal, listening sessions, to proposed public-facing websites that would detail collisions involving cruise cars or allow people to post comments describing their interactions with the vehicles. And a humbled CEO Kyle Vogt confirmed to employees that the company will need to do layoffs. We are still working through what that means for the company and who's going to be affected by that and we don't have all the answers yet, he said. But what I can do is commit to providing more details within the next three weeks. So, importantly that's not when layoffs would occur for full-time employees, that's when we're going to give you an update on what that timeline might be. For Cruise, a General Motors subsidiary, which rushed to scale its operations on an aggressive timeline that seemed to prioritize growth over safety, the sudden turn of events is a sign that a more considered rollout might have been wiser. On October 2, a cruise car hit and dragged a San Francisco pedestrian who had been struck earlier by another car. The incident led to the California DMV yanking Cruise's operating permit in its home state and largest market, stating that its vehicles are not safe for the public's operation and pose an unreasonable risk to the public. Days later, the company voluntarily shut down its entire fleet nationwide, halting deployments in Arizona and Texas. Just months earlier, Vote had laid out an ambitious plan for the company, declaring it would continue 10x growth every year for the foreseeable future. But during the all-hands meeting, the now somber-sounding CEO conceded the company is now facing a challenging moment. Other executives on the call said that the company must shift its focus toward building trust rather than rapidly scaling up operations. In a blog post published on Wednesday, the company also outlined some of the measures it plans to take, including hiring a chief safety officer who will report to vote, and bringing in both a law firm and a third-party engineer firm to investigate the October 2nd incident and its aftermath. As we build a better cruise, we're evaluating a variety of potential actions to ensure we operate at the highest standards of safety, transparency and accountability, cruise spokesperson Navide Forgani said in a statement. We are committed to keeping our customers, regulators, and the public informed throughout this process, she added. Cruise declined to comment on layoffs.